operation. All right. Um, so actually, uh, Samuel is actually on the line. Uh, so uh, Samuel, uh, good evening. Welcome to um, Eyewitness News. Why will you say that uh, your director general has mismanaged the state broadcaster? Uh, good evening to your sharing listeners. Uh, this is not an issue uh, I would have necessarily spoken about on air. I believe in the internal matters to be discussed and the internal arrangements. But for the issue that came out into the public and the management have a relationship with a union that had directed this into the public domain, which rather is unfortunate. Uh, a point of question, uh, our Director General, former Director General, Senna ended on 1st October 2023. Oh, I see. So he's, yes, it's not that we are seeking for removal. What the workers are actually uh, pleading the appointing authority not to renew or extend his contract for. And you do not want his contract renewed or extended because you think he has mismanaged the state broadcaster? Yeah, that that has been the reality on the ground, a factual one. If you ask workers from various divisions, various departments and units, uh, basically to work with us, some of the challenges that workers face, really. Uh, basic tools like uh, airport sheets, printers, toners, microphones, headphones, cameras, and all so many things. You can mention the list is tall. These are some of the things that uh, for the first year, I think uh, we were just not putting uh, our, uh, well, what we expected was not what we, we've gotten. And workers were agitating behind the uh, closed door for some time now, about two or a year ago. But the union wanted to change the narrative that there is wrong impression or perception about DBC workers to the outside public that any time the chief executive or director general board is appointed. They always have them. So we want to say that let's wait when the four-year tenure is ended. Then uh, we will be asking the appointing authority to respectfully understand the governance system of an organization that over a thousand workers of GBC says they are not satisfied with the uh, four-year tenure of the director general, and so. Pulling that, they didn't want to put it to the public. They didn't want to even write a petition. There was agreement to that. But what we're concerned is that we don't want our issues to come to the public. We want a uh, former director general, whatever the case, if he's leaving, it should be in a peaceful manner, but not to be the public as we witness. But management brought this on uh, onto the public by uh, severing the working relation with the union at illegality that we considered on our or a humble opinion. So, and it came to the one of the newspapers, and we had to uh, brought apprehension among GBC workers, and not even GBC workers alone, because that decision, if it has to be upheld, it will affect the general union or trade union activities in the country. That any management or Organization and decide that today I don't like your face. So if you are a division, you don't want to work with you. you want to relate to your mother union. And if I, 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 see, man- someone, I think that the concern really has, has been that for, for the past years, as far as you know, people a lot of people can remember from the days of Ivaloko to date. You know, the, the union or the workers have always had issues with their with their director general. So they raise an issue, they rise up in arms against the director general. And eventually, the director general is, is changed. It's been happening over the period, mm-hmm. and is it not? And, and it's, it's always the same. Is it? Is it that it's a systemic problem that the director, the, the directors, or the director generals, directors general, I think, uh, um, are unable to solve? Or what is it? Because it, they all cannot be 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 this incompetent. It 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 surely should be something about the system, which you workers should help them resolve. For example. Uh, people say that a lot of your people don't go around and collect money for for airtime sold. Internally generated funds, I mean, you struggle to raise. Meanwhile, GBC is, is huge and covers everywhere. And, and 
and there's a potential to make a lot of money. So the workers must also take part of the blame. Every time Director General must be chased away, he's chased away, another one comes, it's the same problem. Don't you think the problem really is within? You know, if, if you, you, you pay attention to my list of mission, I categorically say that yes, that perception that has been there, that is why this time round, our Director General was allowed to run a four-year peaceful tenure. The union cooperated very well from the beginning. In fact, uh, at time when we realized that certain challenges that uh, there's uh, difficulty from management coming, the union come in to, to support in certain ways. I said, yes, revenue generation or revenue collection to collect tax and all those. Things. <laughs> My brother, it's all boils down to tools to go and do vehicle. For example, marketing, the traffic in a car, sometimes one car. And one car, sometimes when they, 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 they car, there's a battery problem, when they car, there's fuel. So many challenges that inhibit a worker. So if you give a target to a marketing staff without providing the tools, how would that person deliver? Now, Going forward, one of the things that you read that's very important to the appointing authority to pay attention to is why is it that uh, there's always challenges with uh, management or the director general? I can tell you, broadcasting does a very complex one. And for that matter, GBC is more complex because it's covered account, uh, across the country. Uh, we believe that when you are appointing somebody, it must be an industry player who understand the dynamism, the business of the job, and all those things. And sometimes we feel that when people are brought, uh, they, they rather are they using the place as a setting ground. So it, it became a very big challenge and difficulties. And sometimes uh, a situation like this could have been better from government purposes that the appointing authority, especially the NMC, could have uh, done their own finding from the workers and all those things, not even in Accra, across the country, uh, the performance and the new, because we, we have been working over the year with various management. So we can be able to tell that this uh, previous management will do this. If we come to GBC, you will see even sometimes there are some conversation. There are certain particular di former director general, workers mentioned all the time. So all is not that we didn't get all the directors general that have been division or not. We we have people that we normally mention. If we come here, uh, the assessing generation will mention this particular director, the other generation will mention this particular and then another generation will this one then if you compare and construct. It was a staff difference. Some people can associate themselves with the former director general Perfit Appinson, uh, with the his board at that time this is the Timate was one of the finest moments for GBC, but the attendance was very short. Some people associate themselves with Akun Dakun, among others. So it is not that people just don't like the face of a chief executive, but if they are working, we are working and holding in trust on behalf of Ghanaians, the Ghana broadcasting or the public uh, broadcaster. So in all this, we also think about the future of this organization. Who doesn't want to work in a proud organization? Mm. Image. When you go, you go both better, yes. Yes, so, so, so beyond, be yeah, beyond mounting billboards and, and banners, you know, within the, the, or the, or the precincts of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the state broadcaster, what else are you doing? Have you petitioned the employer or the appointing authority? What else have you done beyond, you know, the, the union expressing its, uh, uh, um, its, its uh, desire to see uh, the man's appointment not renewed or extended? Yes, one of the things that workers the world over does, or any human being that is to raise an, an alarm or an alert, draw an alert. Red flag is one of the forms that you draw attention to your appointing authorities when they ask what is happening in all those. Things. Because we were surprised when we were hearing this rumor about the uh, contra extension of the director general because um, we feel that it wasn't being the poetry sometimes. Uh, of work or conversations, somebody who will be willing to go back to the university than the uh, pressure that being been brought to him. So it is surprising. And some of us thought, oh, by the end of the 1st October, the four years, and uh, I don't think there will be a need for that. But what we are saying now, over the years, sometimes when NMC 
want to do that, they they reach out to stakeholders and major stakeholders like the workers through their union. And unfortunately, this time round, for the first time, NMC uh, GBC board has some uh, union rep in it from mm. CUC or PSWU. Mm. But unfortunately, this batch there was no union rep in the board, and the NMC attention have been drawn to that. But a letter was written to the TUC to draw the attention. And that's what I've been done about you. So there's that vacuum there. Uh, GBC, you know, is not a union that will just get up and fight. We also worry sometimes about our news on the public, not for any good reason, but for all these things. Very well. And some of these, some of these also serve a purpose. It's even prevent the, 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 the organization for total collapse. I'm telling you, Very well. some of the agitation might not be good. Others accept this cooperation. So uh, as we see, we are working in a private media organization, but you are also a shareholder, a state. You hold a stake in GBC. Surely. So whatever goes on, you might, it might be your attention and the all Ghanaian peace-loving countries, people who want Ghana to develop and democracy as can. We need to partner and develop this country. Very well. Must be, must be happy to see a better Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. Thank you. Thank you, Samuel Nathaniel Kevo. Uh, and the, and the, unfortunately, the... you see, the union don't want to do this hostility. Hmm. We pass due process. It's Very interesting well. to know that by the time we came to work today, the rest that we have been removed. This mm. is not the first time. Uh, we've taken... So you've got, uh, got to put them back. Ourselves. You've got to put them back. <laughs> so we, obviously, we it means had... it doesn't mean that the Director General also has supported. So it appears that one section no, of the, of uh, the organization supports him, that, another... It's, it's, it's a, it's, there's, there's a divide and group. That has also not helped in the organization. The divide and group give back to victimization. I and see. there are few people who will always be loud defending the system as to what they see different, what my just silent majority is finding it difficult to. Uh, see I see. They, 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 they have a right to, to express them the same way you're also expressing your your this exactly. your, your, your right of of management stuff. Faith. Very well. Thank you Not so much. What people's personal interest is, is uh, paramount. <laughs> I, I see. Thank you so much, uh, Samuel Nathaniel Kevo, divisional chairman of the Public Sector Workers.